And welcome to another edition of Judgment Day, where we take Reddit posts and we judge them because the three of us are skilled judgers of people and things and stories and the like, whatnot. Anyway, it's me, Matt. We got Logan and Raina joining as always. We're still working on trying to get a guest, but we record Monday afternoon, so it is not the (laughs) most guest-friendly time, I believe, but uh, we're getting there. Yeah, 3 p.m. on a Monday, it's like old people lunchtime or dinner time. (laughs) we are we are like the bob evans early risers for sure over here all right so let's start let's start this episode off here is i think one of the more juiciest ones we've done so get ready would i be the asshole if i told my friend about their child who's 22 years old would i be an asshole if i told my friend about their 22 year old child's attempt to begin a romantic relationship with me okay Mm. Okay. how wait did they say how old they were yeah yes they're 39 so let me let me get into the story this that title i don't know about you i got some goosebumps like oh like yeah that is a sticky situation rough waters here we go the child of a very close friend of mine recently confessed their romantic interest in me they were unfortunately very serious about this i was very involved in bringing up this child almost like an aunt or uncle so the confession was a huge disappointment i have been reflecting on my actions these past few days really just fearful that i'm i have fucked up in my interactions with the child and permanently twisted them somehow i immediately rejected the child which he's 22 so i i don't love the word child here yeah that's what i was gonna Um, say (laughs) i I immediately rejected the 22 year old and it pretty much cut off all communication and meetings To their credit, they have reacted fairly mature to the rejection, but apparently they have not ceased their attempt to pursue me. I intend to tell my friend my about what has transpired because one, it seems too important to keep a secret. My friend will be very hurt if they found about this themselves. Two, I hope my friend can have a talk with their um their child who's 22 and hopefully steer them away. My sibling, also very involved in bringing up the child, did not approve of this. They felt, one, telling my friend would damage the relationship between us all, and then I risked damaging the parent-child relationship with this information. Two, Mm -hmm. this is a mere infatuation, and I just have to endure a short while for it to fade. And three, well, it's a 22-year-old, so there's nothing my friend could really do to control them, so I would achieve nothing and only end up effing effing over our friendship. So would I be the asshole if I told my best friend about their 22 year old child's attempt to begin a romantic relationship with me? Who wants to start? This one is. This is oh, juicy. This is this is You're like, not lying. This is pretty like, is this real? That's what I want. That's my first question. I would say, yeah, probably. Like, I feel like this happens all the time, you know, like you're around someone so much. And then when you become an adult, like you start seeing them in a different way sometimes. So I 100% think that this is real and probably happens consistently. Uh, Friends, Monica and Richard. Anybody? The show Friends? No. No. Come on, guys. (laughs) That really, that like, I I hate to say failed, but that was pretty bad. That totally failed. You guys were like, "Mm, no. Basically. What happened there? I mean, aren't they all the same age? So um, she eventually uh, ends up dating one of her parents' friends. Because, oh. you know, she got older and then saw him and he saw her and like she's an adult now, you know, so very similar. I mean, they actually dated. So it sounds like this poster is not interested in dating the 22 year old, mm-hmm. which I think is good. <laughs> yeah, I, I oh, go ahead, Raina, please. I think it just gets a little tricky when it sounds like she reared this child like she we actually don't know pronouns so as far as we oh, don't okay. know you know is it he she they on either of the two so i guess do we, we want to give them names yeah let's give them names um let's call the do we want to call them old friend of the monica family. and richard yeah let's do monica and richard we're gonna assume although assumptions make asses out of you and me but we're gonna we'll call the 22 year old child of the friend monica and then 39 year old friend of the family, Richard. So Rana, please take it away. I want to hear that's your That's so voice. interesting because I would have thought the younger one was the boy. Yeah, that's like, that's immediately mm. where my mind went to. That's so funny that we had that reverse. So maybe it's best to just not, I don't know. Well, okay. So adults rearing this child is like the vibe I'm getting where I'm getting like I'm getting the impression that they played a really active role in this 22 year old adult, not a child, life, <laughs> and that's kind of where it lies for me because 
like the situation Logan was describing, it's one thing to go after like a parent when you're older, you know, it's like, oh, hey, you know, so like hanging out with a friend's dad. And then it's like, oh, now I'm 23. I've been to college and like best friend. I actually like have a big crush on your dad. Like, but yeah, when it's like an aunt or, or uncle, like, yeah, kind of, like how how involved in the raising process was this person because obviously it would be really not normal well i don't say not normal but it it would not be um as like appropriate if it was like someone who Mm -hmm. raised this person but if it's just we had a relationship we knew of each other we came into contact a lot when they were younger and maybe some time has passed they went to college they came back you know what i mean like yeah that's a little different then yeah I, but the thing is they say i i basically am like an aunt uncle figure to them like they describe right. that relationship you know and it's one thing to be like oh i knew of them and i knew of like mm-hmm. i'm fr- I have casual friends with the family or i'm friends with the parents and i i've met them over the years versus it sounds like to me they were integral to the that that adult yeah. 22 year old <laughs> formerly yeah. child former child now 22 you know it sounds like they were integral to that so i don't know like i feel like if you were an adult when they were getting their bait like their diapers changed and you were yeah. around and stayed around and have been around that's just not a line to cross even if it was mutual even you know it's consensual it's twenty two thirty nine, which is not a huge age difference to me yeah. i mean that is, I, I feel like someone who's 22 and someone who's 39, probably in very different parts of their life for sure. But, you know, if they're happy, they're happy. But obviously this case, no, it got shut down. But um, I don't know. I mean, I just, I feel like it would be very weird for those parents to be like, our close family friend is dating our 22 year old who they've like been a part of since birth. Mm-hmm. I, I just, I don't but get how you is- get over that, you know? Is that the 39 year old isn't even like, I'm going to do it. They just, should they tell their, the friends, mm-hmm. which is. That's the second part of this is mm-hmm. are, are we just telling out of, Hey, I need to report this. I feel like I'm obligated to tattle on this person. Like mm-hmm. I'm not weird. Like, I, I just want you guys to know this is something I'm not comfortable with coming from like a place of being scared or mm-hmm. is it like like you don't like the intention there is kind of where i'm hung up also is Mm -hmm. like do you got a tattle on this person they're 22 years old now it's at a point where this person has like an independent life and Mm -hmm. can make their own decisions why do you gotta rat them out to mom and dad that kind of i I wouldn't be happy with that unless i feel like to my parents unless they they were like actively going to try and date that person why would they tell why should they tell them you know mm-hmm. like what is what do they gain from that mm-hmm. uh, it feels weird to me i think it's almost like a damned if you do damned if you don't situation um yeah. because if this was someone who was like 16 15 absolutely tell the parents like oh yeah. I would, I, if i was in their situation it was a 15 16 year old i'd be like beep, 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 like hands down immediately easily. um given that they're 22 there is like a little bit of that flex period there but I, I don't know. I think for me, honesty is the best policy. And I would just, in his shoes, I'd probably pull the parents aside and be like, hey, you know, they kind of confessed they had a crush for me. Obviously, I shot it down. Don't approach them about this. I just wanted you to know that this had happened. But like, that's how I think I would go about it. Because like, if these parents find out somehow and the friend didn't mention anything, that I think looks really shady. It does look yeah. like something was happening or maybe happening. And I feel like he does lose, or she, uh, the, the friend, family friend loses credibility. I don't know. That's that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm not sure what you guys feel, but. I think you're I on point. Yeah. I don't know. For me, it's just like, it just feels weird to, that they would tell them since nothing is happening, mm-hmm. you know? And I, if it got brought up later in life, maybe just be like, yeah, that was weird. I you know, immediately shut it down and yeah. <laughs> never thought about it ever again. Yeah. I don't know, man. That is a tough, this is a really tough one, actually. Yeah. It's like, I don't think asshole would be the word I would use. 
either way. Um, mm -hmm. Oh man, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know, guys. This is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Raina, do you have anything, or should we say judgment, or do we need like another minute of deliberation before we, the jury votes? I just hope that kid knew what they were getting themselves into. I mean, yeah. I gotta say, you know, not kudos, because that sounds congratulatory, but, you know, this 22-year-old kid, they stepped up. They had a crush. They said something, and I, yeah, although I wish that the- heart. Yeah, although I wish the 22 year old had like the common sense a little bit more to say, ooh, this is a little inappropriate. Um, you know, I, again, I, I want almost a good for you, but good like, for them. I don't, I don't know if I feel that way. I mean, if I'm in the position, which I wouldn't be, because the first thing is like, oh my God, that's a family from that's like an aunt or an uncle to me. No way. So that yeah. they must just be going through, there must be something else they're going through. Like maybe they don't feel attractive or wanted or desired and they're, twisting that familial type bond with the family friend, trying to get something out of that. And it's like, there's plenty of fish in the sea. You're 22, you have so much time on your hands, relax, you know? And sometimes for people, it's like proximity is easy. It's like, who's around? So if they're constantly around that family friend, they might think, oh, like this could be something more since they're right here, you know? Mm -hmm. Man. Well, I'm ready for judgment. Are you guys ready for judgment? You can go first, though. I'll go first. I'm going to say not the asshole. I think no matter what, this is a very Wait, I'm sorry. What was the question again? If he the... would be the asshole if he told the parents. If he told. Got it. Okay. I think not the asshole because, frankly, I wouldn't want to keep this secret myself. I think he'd be the asshole if he told the parents and expected them to, like, do something or, like, they all have to sit down and talk about it. He's not the asshole if he goes to the parents and is like, hey, just like FYI, you know, they have a crush on me. It's chill. I didn't follow up with it. I just want I just want that transparency to know that like I wouldn't cross that boundary. And you know, maybe just don't don't ask them about this, but just see if they're okay. Like looks like their romantic life might be a mess if they're coming to me. That's that makes sense. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. You know, we move on to talk about, you know, oh, what's that recipe for that salad you had last week? Nothing more needs to be said. No speculation, no like. Oh, can you imagine if you two were dating? No, mm -mm, mm -mm. we're going to toss that in the garbage with the leftover salad that's been sitting in the fridge for three days. So not the asshole. Uh, it's a delicate situation. And, and I think, I don't know. I, I just think if you're friends with these people for years, you helped raise this child. Like that's yeah. the priority. You and that child's relationship to me is the second priority, I think. So that's where I stand. Uh, Raina, Logan, anyone ready to judge? <laughs> Yeah, I say not the asshole. Um, you don't want it to be awkward for anybody. Sometimes popping that balloon of like awkwardness is better than like you were saying, somebody finding out and misinterpreting what that would mean. Are you hiding that from us as a parent? Or are you, were you actually considering dating our child? Like, you know, it's 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 better to just get it out there, say it, than risk it being uncomfortable, and kind of shut that down. If they're actually not interested in dating this, you know, dating the twenty two year old, then there's really no reason, especially with all the added baggage, to, to yeah. let it continue. If it, you know, if, if there's a way to shut it down, and you don't, you know, you're never going to want to date that person then don't mm -hmm. you, you know i would just say i honestly though i would say probably no assholes here because okay you can't really fault the 22 year old for doing their thing and, mm -hmm. and and going after that but so long as the 22 year old is not pressuring this person because that was in that post it sounded like it had just been a few days and i don't know if they were reaching out more than once in a few days like that would be uncomfortable but as long as it's uh i, I don't want to say safe but as long as it's a, a peaceful type of hey i'm just gonna let you know where i'm feeling and not really pressuring this yeah. person then that's fine but mm -hmm. i'd say no assholes here mm -hmm. Logan. Logan is not Devil's a advocate. Oh. Okay. Advocate it up, you devil. <laughs> I think I'm going to say asshole. Okay. Um, oh. I just, 
I get where you guys are coming from with the whole you don't want to hide it because that makes it look sneaky. But it's like you both are adults. Nothing happened. And so it's like, what's there to tell really, you know? Mm-hmm. Someone confessed feelings for you. It's not like they're saying, hey, I've been in love with you my whole life and I finally want to give this a shot. Well, I don't know. They might have. But... I mean, they might have. <laughs> <laughs> they totally might have. I'm, ad- I'm just assuming them. Oh, did I unplug my mic? I think I'm good. Mm-hmm. Um, I just assume that they said something like, hey, I have a crush on you and I just wanted to let you know. Mm-hmm. But if it was something more extreme, okay, maybe. But mm-hmm. I don't know. I just... People can tell you that they're in love with you all the time, you know, but Mm -hmm. if you don't act on it, it's just kind of like, okay, Mm -hmm. well, I shut it down and nothing's happening. So Mm -hmm. what's there to talk about? You know, I'm kind of reminded there's this quote from American dad and it's like, um, you know, if I don't tell him what happened, then this little thing that meant nothing becomes a big thing that becomes something because like, I'm trying to imagine like 15 years down the line, this actually gets out of some sort that I think would really do damage. But then it's 15 years later. It's like that happened 15 years ago. Like, yeah, I but like it happened yesterday. 15, 15 years ago, this thing happened that probably at the time wouldn't have really been seen as a deal, but now it's seen as a deal. Um, that's just, yeah. that's what I keep kind of thinking back to is like, I don't know. I just think. It's no, just I totally to get that. And, yeah. And now so, I'm wondering what the consequences would be for the 22 year olds if like that's where my mind is going now that we're talking about this mm-hmm. what are the parents going to do yeah what if they uh, you know what i mean that's what that's if the 22 year old still lives at home what if the 22 year old is still reliant on mm-hmm. the parents and the parents would get mad and you know not ground but you know kind of do something like some parents still have that power even though a kid's mm-hmm. an adult I know my mom would be pissed. Yeah. Uh, Your mom would be like, I'm leaving Wisconsin right now. (laughs) En route. En route to Cleveland immediately. Only because she she wouldn't want me to hide a secret like that. Or she would she would just want to know. She's Mm -hmm. that's just the way she is. Um Mm -hmm. but like I don't think he's I don't think they're gonna be grounded or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But but sometimes those emotional consequences you know can there's there's something that it could be nothing it could be i'm not speaking to you at thanksgiving who knows but that's just yeah. something to consider for the tattling mm-hmm. and i do yeah. say tattling <laughs> it is tattling but here's the thing i mean and we don't know how serious this gets but what if it's like you know they they imply that this person is still trying to pursue them I mean, what happens if they send suggestive photos? What happens if they make comments via text? Oh, then then it's like it's not just a comment; it becomes a thing. And then I think, yeah, oh my god, tell them, be like, hey, this has been happening. But Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think if it's just, here's how I feel. There's no reason to tell. Well, what do we think the thread said? Hmm, I think the thread agreed with you guys. Uh, you know, Reddit audience can be hit or miss sometimes (laughs) they really can it's they're out here like they're out here like a dear abby article (laughs) flip-flopping every sort of way you know i'm so glad we didn't talk about the age gap because i feel like a lot of people are very into judging people Mm -hmm. based on the age gap alone Mm -hmm. um i I don't think the age gap has any factor in this Mm -hmm. Uh, but i feel like they're gonna be really uptight about the age gap and mm-hmm. for that reason, I feel like they're going to say, you're the asshole. Mm-hmm. Um, they said not the asshole. Oh, good. But they agree with Rain and I. The biggest, the top one says, I think you have to tell them. They'll never trust you again if you don't. And they'll find out anyway. Second biggest one says, not the asshole, but I would consider very carefully before telling this to them because it might backfire massively. Perhaps give the child an ultimatum. Either they stop harassing you and, or you'll tell their parent. And make sure you have proof of them being the instigator and not you. And it sucks to have to think about that. Like, it's almost like a a battle or a war. The third one, third top comment is actually no assholes here. You're in a very tough no-win spot. Personally, I would not tell my friend. Their kid is an adult. 
Maybe they would laugh about this crush. Maybe they would be horrified or blame you. You have already told their child this is inappropriate and never going to happen. Keep avoiding them. If they continue to attempt inappropriate behavior towards them, tell them how offended you are. And like your sister said, with any luck, this will pass soon. Yeah. That's, I feel like, Logan, that is where you are. Oh, yeah. I think is like this concept of like, I mean, if you tell them, it could, it could be, make it a bigger deal than it is. Yeah, um, for sure. But again, could, if like it continued to become a thing and there's a continued harassment and like inappropriate stuff, obviously then at that point, tell them for sure, because that's mm -hmm. uncomfortable. That, they're making you uncomfortable and that's not fair to you and yeah. they need to step in. But yeah, it doesn't need to be a thing, I don't think. Oh, my goodness gracious. I don't even know. I am like stunned at this one. This is a hard rock in a other hard place or a rock, whatever that thing is. <laughs> it's a lot of rocks <laughs> this everywhere. Is rocks. This is a rock garden. All right. Well, we have committed judgment. What do you Ooh. think? You'll have to let us know if you know us personally. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next <laughs> episode. Peace out. Bye.